Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge. I am in a um, new spot. I am going, I moved my, I'm moving my craft room from upstairs to downstairs. So I set up my camera a little differently and this is more of a test. Make sure everything is coming out all right. So I just wanted, I um, put in Crafty Me Shop. I was working on these snippets and for the new girls because I didn't know what a snippet was it's basically I think I'm in Victorian inspired I know it's like I take a piece of muslin and I just sew different pieces of beautiful laces and trims that I have left over or not <laughs> and I just sew them together and make them you know kind of to me they can never be done because I could keep adding stuff to them but that's basically um, what they are I don't know how long this is maybe two inch or two feet or yeah 24 inches <clears throat> and like this one I am making with um, I'm getting a little fancy um, some lace or uh, regular thread and I'm just kind of doing some different needlework I mean I wouldn't even say needlework thread playing I would say because I know I'm lucky I can do little X's so I'm doing that so what I wanted to just come and show you is what well now what do you do with it well you can <laughs> wrap it around something and make it look pretty and just leave it for decoration or you can actually use it and by using it, I mean cutting it. And I'm thinking, oh, do all that work and then you're going to cut it. But that's, in when I was making a lot more books, I would have a lot of these. And when I did, like, all right, let's take a page. Let's take something with the perfume. I love these perfume bottles. I say this will be a page in my book. It's really pretty. See, everything is perfume bottle and I could um I, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it girls I'm gonna snip it right here wherever you snip it you should be able to use it so that's why when I do see and it'll be like a page and I'll just no I'll glue it I don't have everything set up so Let's see if this glue will work. Ooh, I guess so. Oop, don't hit my Maggie spatula. So you can just, you know, that would be like in the book. Maybe an the end page or something, end of a um signature or something and then you could also take I've done you know what's that's still attached I'm gonna cut the thread so I'll just put a little piece of glue, little glue there I mean this laying down that perfect so I will actually I'll get another page It took me a while to make my first snippet because I wasn't sure exactly what it was to begin with. And let's see, I'll cut it right here. It's just like this. I took on, um, I went away for the weekend, so I took it with me and I, um, I did it everywhere when we were um, sitting at the park. I just, you know, I had a needle and thread and a couple odd pieces and just, it was relaxing. And that's pretty, like a page. And if there's something that you don't like, you're just going to trim it off. So now, I if I put that in here. Because this is going to be a very girly book anyway. 
so we have it just nice. Let me see if I can move this back just a little. So just so that's how you um oh, I sure straight. That's how I use snippets. And then you can make um a really let me get a piece of paper. This is a really pretty piece of um doily paper. I'm just going to make an envelope. And then I'll put some crinkle paper in it and sew it. But this, these I like to do a lot. Is, uh, you know, just line your, your envelope with it. And there you go. You have an envelope already. And that, I can sew it on or glue it on. But, so now out of the snippet you can make four five six things depending on how much you to you snip off of it so that's how i use pieces of my snippet so now i have you know three pieces this could be a cover that could be the back of a signature so that's how i do it so girls i will be back more often as hopefully i get a big jump on organizing everything down here and then i'll give you a quick tour so you guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you later bye